This news story was produced by Kojiko North Bay News. To watch the full newscast, tune into channels 12 or 700 live at 5.30 p.m. Monday to Friday. So this is part of Exercise Vigilant Shield, which is the annual NORAD Live Fly exercise. Uh, most of it you don't see because we push our fighters up into the high north and around the country. Uh, but this is the command post for the Canadian Air Defence Sector and it needs to be defended. Uh, so for this uh, particular year, we're actually practicing uh, what we would have to do to defend uh, the vital ground in times of tension. You know, we had three objectives for uh, this exercise. One was just to get them to up here. They started their road move from South Carolina uh, last Wednesday. Their trucks started rolling into the base on Friday, Saturday, and then we airlifted. The Canadians went down and picked them up with the C-17 and brought the main body up on Saturday. Um, so that was phase one. And then phase two is integrating our equipment inside the, uh, the operations center with their equipment. And then uh, starting tomorrow, there'll be a live fly portion where we have target aircraft for the next three days. We'll be doing various approaches over the city uh, in uh, simulated cruise missile, because that is our principal threat here is the cruise missile uh, as far as against the, um, the, uh, the op center itself. And, and why do you think it's important to have the media come out and see what the public knows what's going on? Because you don't want the public to know what's going on. So we have a great relationship with the city, as you know. Uh, most of our operations, because of the nature of what we do, takes place inside buildings and uh, you can look a little quiet up here. You bring equipment like this up, uh, uh, people are going to see, people are going to be interested. So we said, look, uh, let's just get out in front of it. Uh, we have nothing to hide. This is part of what we do. You know, so much of NORAD is air-based, right? So we have uh, American fighters in Canadian airspace all the time and Canadian fighters in American airspace. You don't see it. This time, uh, we're integrating the Army and the land element, so it's more visual. We always take our training serious, and we always try to make sure that we do everything uh, you, you know, by the book and make sure that we accomplish our goals. Uh, these goals were not as, uh, as difficult, but some people would say they were more difficult by the fact we've never came across uh, the Canadian border. We've never actually integrated our Army equipment with the, with the Canadian Air Force's equipment and shared this data. Um, a lot of the relationships are built around the NORAD headquarters and at the different uh, regions uh, that we work with them all the time. But actually to get on the ground and share information and be able to integrate equipment, because just to be honest, um, most two countries don't like to share information. <laughs> so accomplishing that and being able to plug our systems in with theirs and share that information is kind of a, a home run for us to be able to, to share uh, air picture. If you are interested in watching Coach Go North Bay News, you can become a subscriber by calling 1-800-267-9000.